Hey guys, welcome back to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and today we've got in this black box by Century Wings in 170 second scale diecast is a Vought F8 Crusader. These first entered service with the US Navy in 1957, of course, and would be the last American fighter that actually had guns as its primary weapon, uh, being fitted out with four 20mm cannons, uh, two on either side of the fuselage, earning it the uh, nickname of the last of the gunfighters. Uh, Although common mishaps uh, with this particular aircraft would earn it other nicknames like uh, Ensign Eliminator, as it was not an easy aircraft to fly. It was also called the Gator because of its uh, its large intake was uh, so low uh, when on deck as well. Of the 1,261 Crusaders built, 1,106 were involved in some sort of incident before their eventual withdrawal from U.S. Naval Service in 1976. We will open up this flap, of course, and have a little look. There is the ordnance packet on the side here, and uh, we have this beautiful Avort FA Crusader sitting in there. And what we'll do is we'll get this aircraft out of the box and have a real good look at it. And here we have this F8 Crusader out of the box, of course. We'll pull the packet out. of. This is the bottom of the box, and it does have the instructions for assembly of the aircraft, making good use out of the bottom of the boxes the sentry wings usually do. And, of course, the stand that, if you want to use that, you will uh, utilise. I'll move that out of the way. We will get this packet open, of course, and have a real good look. It does come with a little uh, collector card of sort, as you can see there. There is a uh, limited run, and it does come with a, a, num a limited uh, number, of course. And uh, you'll put that to the side, because you don't want to lose that. And it does sit in here really nicely. Wow, that looks pretty cool. Uh, this particular one is from VF211, or 211. We'll try and pop this out. Uh, the Fighting Checkmates. And they were actually one of three naval squadrons to be designated VF211. Okay, we'll move that out of the way. And have a little look at this. The uh, fighting checkmates actually originate from VB-74 in uh, 1945. And in 1959 would change to its uh, VF-211 designation. Um, now known as VFA-211, they are still active flying the FA-18 Hornets, or Super Hornets actually. And uh, look at this library. This is a very nice library. It is from 1967 uh, the, during their um, posting uh, during the Vietnam War. Uh, I think this is what, when it was aboard the USS Bonhomme Richard. And uh, I reckon this does look fantastic. We'll have a look at some of those details on the wing. Man, this is pretty cool. And this is our first F-8 Crusader, of course. And look at that big mouth there. This looks really nice. We'll have a look at some of these details a little bit closer, of course. Try and keep my sausage fingers out of the way. This has got some great detail. This does look really nice. We'll have a look at some of the engine detail there, which it does have some... That is really good. It does have some nice detail in there. We will swing this around. Have a look on that side. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I do like this a lot. That is fantastic. Very nice. The cockpit does it open? Yes, it does. And uh, I'll try and show you a little bit in there. Can't see a great deal. Sorry, but I'll take some photos of that, of course, and you can see it <laughs> a little bit better. And uh, we'll turn it over and have a little look underneath. And uh, as you can see, it does have the options for the weapon stores that we will be putting through here. And of course, the undercarriage will be going there and the nose wheel there. And it does have some really nice detail. Those panel lines are really well done. It looks really nice. These actually move. There is some movement in that. I'm assuming that's meant to be. <laughs> and that it's not wobbly or anything like that. Um, the wing... Oh, that actual... The wing movement does come up. It's uh, Because this is a special wing on these particular aircraft. That actually does come up and it reveals the movement in there. So you can... Have it in the open position or the closed position. There's not a huge amount, but it's enough to make a difference to the performance of the aircraft. Um, what we'll do is we'll kit this out with some uh, landing gear and some ordnance, and we'll come right back. For the underwing pylons, you get these sets of uh, Mark 82 uh, bombs that you can uh, chuck on underneath. And you also get a choice of using 
The Sidewinder missiles are neither a um, single or a double pack format, and these are mounted on the side of the fuselage. Or you could alternatively use these pylons that contain the Mark 32 Zuni rockets. So uh, you only get to choose uh, out of one, out of those um, three different sets. So you'll have uh, two to ch chuck in the spares box, of course, of the ones that you do not use. Now, of course, if you want it in flight, it's just these two pieces. And of course, this is the uh, stand that you can use if you so wish to use it. And if you are using the stand with wheels down, you will have to swap that piece out too. So you will use that piece instead of the piece that I will have on ours that we'll be having a look in just a second. So here's this Crusader all kitted out. As I said, if you do want to put it on the stand, you would put this piece um, where that piece is if you are planning to use the stand in gear down version. Now, I have... Uh, Kitted this all out with Grand Ordnance. I uh, I chose the MK82 Snake Eyes, of course, and I chose the Zuni rockets uh, mainly because I haven't used Zuni rockets on an aircraft before. <laughs> so I don't know if this was an actual proper fit out for this particular aircraft because I can imagine weight constraints may restrict the use of all this ordnance at once, and maybe it was fitted either with the MK82s and maybe the Sidewinders. So before someone has a go at me, I I do realise this may not be a, a proper ordnance fit out, but I just for the purpose of this video, I wanted to fit the uh, Zuni rockets as well. And the only ordnance you have for the underwing pylons is the MK82s. So I I really did want to fit out with some uh, different ordnance than than the normal Sidewinders that we normally do throw on these aircraft. But I reckon this does come up really nice. And of course the landing gear module, the front nose wheel just drops straight in. That's just its own uh, complete module. The landing gear, um, you have your individual uh, wheels, of course, and they drop straight in. And then you have some gear bay doors that uh, drop in either side. And then, of course, this central gear bay door um, module that just drops straight over the lot. And no problem. No problem whatsoever. Fitment, perfect. Even all the ordnance fitment, perfect. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. This went together absolutely like a dream. And I reckon this is bloody awesome. <laughs> I reckon this is a nice little crusader for sure. And it does come up really well. And hopefully it's uh, coming up nicely in the video. And I reckon this is a pretty cool looking aircraft. Definitely. Even with its um, you know little issues in its uh, actual flying career. But uh, I reckon this is a pretty little... Pretty cool looking the aircraft for sure. And uh, yeah, I reckon, you know, hopefully you guys uh, agree with me. And I will put this on the deck. And that is that. Beautiful. I'll zoom in a fraction. And we will wind this video up. So you don't have to hear me talk anymore. So once again, this is by Century Wings. I did grab this uh, second hand. Uh, for around 200 bucks, so it was a little bit dear, but like Sentry Wings normally are on the expensive side, but you are paying for excellence. Uh, this build, fantastic. Not a fitment fault, not a fault whatsoever. Paint's perfect. Uh, it's just a great looking model. And if you want to part with that kind of coin, you, you are not going to regret it. You will get a good model. And I reckon it's a pretty cool one. So once again, as I said, this is by Sentry Wings. It's 170 second scale die cast. It is the the F8E Crusader from a VF211 or VF211, uh, the fighting checkmates, uh, during its time in Vietnam in 1967 while it was uh, aboard the USS Bonheim Richard. And I reckon it is a pretty cool looking model. All right, guys, you know the deal. I will take some photos of this, of course, and chuck them up at the conclusion of the video, and you can check them out without my sausage fingers. And look, it is not a massive aircraft. I mean, it was a carrier-based aircraft, so they usually aren't huge, and I reckon it is a pretty tidy-looking unit. So, uh, yeah, as I said, if you did like it, hey, throw us a bit of a like, uh, and if you haven't yet to subscribe to the channel, feel free to do that as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for spending your valuable time watching another one of my videos. Cheers, guys. Bye.